Welcome to the Electronics Tools for Beginners video series. I'm going to be doing a video every single day, so make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss those. Also be a playlist down in the description and at the end of the video as well to go and watch more of the video series. So make sure you check them out. So in this video I'm going to talk about adapters and cables and leads and terminators and things like that. There's lots of different options out there again, as is the case in a lot of things. You need to figure out what sorts of things you're going to need. Things I find I commonly need are banana to BNC adapters. This will fit into a standard 19mm spacing banana jack, like a front over multimeter or something like that, and then go to a BNC connector. And then you've also got the reverse of that, which is a BNC female to banana female as well. So then you can go on to something which is like an oscilloscope, for example, or something which has got a BNC jack on it, you can put this on, and then you can bring this out to be banana leads instead. So you can go the other way. Give the links down below for these things as well. BNC T terminals, you've got a N type to PL259 adapter, there's an N type to BNC, there's a BNC to PL259, these are just some things I've got laying around. This is a little 50 ohm load, dummy load thing, it's really small, it's like 50 ohm, just a terminator. It can't take much power, it's like a quarter of watt resistor or something in there, so you know, some of that. Sometimes you need to just put a terminator on something to get a correct reading. Like if, you, if your oscilloscope, for example, has got a 50 ohm mode, but doesn't have a built-in 50 ohm load, because a lot of oscilloscopes don't, some do, but a lot of them don't, then you also need to put a terminator on there, like you'd use this T for example, and you would put the terminator on there, and then you've got a BNC cable hook up to wherever you're generating to see what's going on, in order to get the correct voltage measurements. Because if we don't put the load on it, you'll get mismatches, and you can also get ringing in the cable, and all sorts of stuff like that. So um, This is like a feed-through version, this is a Titronics one, same sort of thing, but it's uh, higher wattage. This, is, this can take 5 watts. You also need banana cables. So this is just one of the ones I've got laying around. I've got lots of different types. Um, you can get sets of these things. I'll put the links down below for those. And having a bunch of different these cables is really handy. I use them a lot. 50 ohm BNC cables. Watch out for t the resistance of these things, the impedance of these cables, because it's 50 ohm and it's 75 ohm. And the actual connections inside are different sizes. They're BNC but one has got a bigger pin than the other and that can cause problems. You put a 75 ohm to a 50 ohm for example you can actually stretch it out a little bit and actually damage the socket and things like that. So, so watch out for that. But get some 50 ohm cables because well, it's shielded, right? The outer sleeve, the negative, is a shield. So if you want to try and reduce noise on your measurements you could use a pair of these, one each, you know, one each end but a BNC cable between them gives you clean signals. Clip leads. Got some different types, like a hook lead here. This one's designed to go onto the end of a multimeter lead, so you've got your end of your standard multimeter probe, right? This will just push onto that, like that. So you don't have to worry about a big, massive lead. You can just hook up to your existing multimeter probe. Really convenient. This one's a mini grabber instead. Same sort of setup, but mini grabber. And this has got a Dupont connector on it, so you can actually change them out. Crocodile clip lead. This particular one's for, got a banana jack on it, so you can plug it straight to your multimeter or whatever you're using. This is a Pomona one, high quality one. I've got a pair of these. Um, these are handy having crocodile clips with these sorts of things on them. Also, just a crocodile clip lead, just something like this. Just crocodile clip to crocodile clip. Maybe this length or maybe shorter or longer, whatever. But it's really handy for hooking up things to each other when you're doing testing or just buck checking stuff or using the bypass circuitry or doing interconnects between different parts, things like that. Anyway, that's just a small selection of things I've got. I've got all sorts of like F or SMAs, oh, I didn't mention this one. It's an end to an SMA connector here. But I've got all sorts of things, little SMA cables and SMB and oh, SMC. There's loads of different types. Um, but again, it's a case of you figuring out what you need. And I thought I'd just give you a bit of a selection to give you an idea of what kinds of things are out there. This is just a small sampling of what I've got. Check out the links down below for any of these things if you've caught your interest. There's a playlist here for the beginner series. There's a playlist there. YouTube thinks you should watch. There's a subscribe link here which you should click on and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. There's a Patreon support link here to support the channel on a monthly basis. Helps me to buy things and do videos. And there's a thanks link down the bottom there too if you want to click on that. Catch you later.